Hey Brian, this is Joel from Metalanx. It's sure nice to meet you yesterday. That's where we started last night from the down the line angle, and this is where we started last night from the face on angle. And then as we started working on things after the state of the Brian message, I said it'd be smart to try and get that club on plane better. And so this was the first full swing that you took trying to get on the plane line better. You see it was quite a bit above it, even right there outside the line. And then I said, no man, try to take a small swing to do it. And there you went. So that's a fantastic way to start to get used to making contact with a golf ball, Brian. Coming into it with the club from a much different direction, much more like the tour players. So as we kept going, I'm just showing you all these swings from last night chronologically. Gradually started making a longer swing. And we're able to start it to the right almost every time you tried it. Remember as you went through the batch, that one wasn't as good, obviously. A little longer swing, you got a little worse, which is good to know. And then as you went, things started getting better and better. Remember, the old is gold and the new is blue. So you started getting more and more accustomed to it as you went through the two or three batches. So that, obviously, right there, Brian, is much different than what we saw on the old gold starting out. much better over here on the left as you hit a couple of batches of balls with some smaller swings trying to get used to it. That's much closer than that what you started out with over there on the right on the old gold. Then I wanted to see if we could see anything changing from this face on angle. Didn't really see too much alteration there from that face on angle. Again, that was pretty good there. Again, from this face on angle. Not too much alteration there. The good news is that you were hitting a lot of draws. There you go, baby. See how, see how it got better progressively as you stood there and kept working on it during our 45 minutes together. And you gradually, it looks to me like you were getting more and more comfortable with it. So, remember, I'm going to say, if you want to fool that grip, you can, because that will definitely make it easier to close the face. But interestingly, see, you were hitting a lot of draws last night and eliminating more of the bad misses to the right simply by getting it on plane better. So you may not need that second medicine to turn the hands over earlier there, Brian, and you may not need to alter your grip. You keep doing this, keep hitting the draws like you were hitting last night. That'll be all the medicine you need, buddy, for the next few weeks. And then, uh, like you said, if you want to come in about a week or two, I'd be open-minded to that. Uh, most folks I help only come in about once a month or so. Uh, some come in a lot more often than that, and some come in a lot less often than that. But most folks who are working for a living, it's about once a month. But uh, I'll send you the information about becoming a member of the SUGS, and that'll give you a good idea of... Uh, how much we might be able to do together here in the calendar year of 2012, especially getting ready for that Memorial Day trip. But that's the much better look right there, Brian, instead of this, where you started last night. Sure enjoyed visiting with you, man. Help. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around metal length. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have a face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 120th of a, one one hundred twentieth of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PutterZ.com. So when you hit your full shots, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have 
have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn a certain field in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. And then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get some, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or, if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about five or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated. So we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said. It enables us to see some ball flight. And then we get satisfied that things are looking the way we want. And we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsud.com. Take care.